how I fix my Harman Kardon AVR 130 to standby light on, no display, no blue light, no power. I own a Harman Kardon AVR 130 to home theater amplifier that stopped working in 2014 due to moisture damage. Initially, I couldn't repair or replace the audio input board, and no spare parts were available online. Recently, I decided to attempt fixing the amplifier as a DIY project, reigniting my interest in electronics. I bought two additional defective AVR 132 units to see if I can fix both and referred to online tutorials and chat GPT for insights. There are three different cases, case 1 amber light or standby light on, no display, no blue light, no power. Case 2 powering on, with display but system goes in protect mode seconds after turning on. Case 3 system on blue light indicator turning on and off, no display, no audio output. Next is a summary of the troubleshooting and repairing steps I did for case 1. The steps for case 2 and case 3 are posted in separate videos. Initial issue amber light or standby light on, no display, no blue light, no power. Start by gathering tools, soldering rod, soldering lead, multimeter, tweezer, long nose plier, wire cutter or nipper, multimeter, and Phillips screwdriver. Check the fuse and 5 volts DC voltage regulator IC89. Clean the inside of the amp and check the connectors CN11 and CN12. Inspect and possibly replace voltage regulators IC90 and IC91. Suspected that IC20, the surround controller, and IC90, the switching functions controller to be defective that made the audio input board useless. Connect a 1.5K ohms resistor from 5V standby supply to the base of the switching transistor Q901 to engage the relay to supply power to the main amplifier board. Short pins 12 and 13 on connector CN11 to bypass power mute. AVR can only be repurposed as a power amplifier booster without any other functions. 3. For repurposing, I installed a new 6-channel external audio input connection with two options using new potentiometers for volume control. Option 1 connects signal wires directly to the preamp. Install new RCA input jacks and connect 6-channel audio signal using an audio source and a 6-channel DTS or Dolby decoder. Option 2, connect signal wires through the audio input board's op amps or operational amplifiers. Ensure proper connections to coupling capacitors. Be cautious of potential low frequency hum and DC voltage leaks. Monitor for overheating or other issues during testing. Finally, I tested and validated the repurposed amplifier. Connect a 6-channel audio source to the new RCA input jacks. Test sound output and adjust volume controls. Monitor for any unexpected issues like overheating or burning smell.